Hello, praise the Lord. This is Sister Sherry Parrott coming to you from Platte City, Missouri with five minutes of fire for women ministering to women. I want to give honor to Jesus Christ for all that he has done and all that he's doing and all that he's going to do through this conference and through all of you. And I want to thank Sister Jessica Marquez for obeying her calling to this ministry of women ministering to women conferences. I am a life that has been affected in a great way and I appreciate her and all of the sacrifices behind this conference. This God ordained conference, it reaches to women to further their calling. It does not pronounce or give callings. Only God can do that. But God knows something that has been true for many well-known leaders, from Moses to Gideon to a little girl called Mary. And that is who I want to bring our attention to today in Luke chapter 1, verse 28. Callings need to be equipped with godly confidence. Let's look at her experience. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art are highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And now let's see her response. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel, recognizing what was happening, fear. He said, fear not, Mary. For thou hast found favor with God. And you need to tell yourself that. Do not fear. Do not fear what God is asking you to do. You have found favor with God. You are his and we all have a calling. We may not all be called to preach. We may not all be called to be pastors or evangelists or missionaries. But we're all called to perform the same thing that Mary was called to do. Mary was not called because of what she did by carrying Jesus. She was called to carry him, and so are we. She was chosen, and so are we. But we want to consider Mary's reactions and the fear, and we want to consider the favor that we have. We are his children, and we are called to carry him. And so the next thing that happened with Mary, when he, the angel told her everything that was going to happen, it was clear to her in her mind, in her heart, of what her calling was going to consist of. She was going to carry the Savior. And then she said, how shall this be? And this happens in our lives as well. We come to that place of, okay, we're called, all right, but how is this all going to come about? And, you know, the angel also gave the answer to that. He said, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. For, in verse 37, with God, nothing shall be impossible. What God is asking you to do and calling you to do, and you have found favor in his eyes, is possible. And I want you to be encouraged. And I know that you'll be further encouraged by experiencing um, other people in your lives who are, who are spirit-filled. Mary um, came in the presence of Elizabeth, who was carrying John. And John had the Holy Ghost. So a Holy Ghost experienced person is now being introduced into her life and recognizes Mary for who she is. And let's look at her response when she has been pointed out as being that blessed one. She said in verse 46, my soul doth magnify the Lord. So these are things that we need to remember in our calling. We remember that we are going to experience fear, but push past that fear. We're going to experience questions, but know that the Holy Ghost is going to make these things possible. And then most of all, when people recognize in you, give the glory back to God. 
magnify the Lord with me right now because he is about to do great things in you and in all of us. God bless.